Hey guys, this is Eric with Mediavine, and this is our new SEO, like a CEO series. We're going to teach you all the tricks we use to grow the Hollywood gossip uh, using organic search traffic and give it all away for free in this fun blog and YouTube series. Uh, this week we're going to be talking about PageRank. Um, so PageRank is the original algorithm that Google Search was founded on. It's what uh, Sergey Brin and Larry Page were working on at Stanford when they basically created Google. So it is maybe not as relevant in 2020. There's still a lot of things that are super important about it. So there's just simply no way we could have done an SEO series without talking about PageRank. All right, so what is PageRank? As I mentioned before, it's basically the algorithm that Google was founded on. It is basically taking the web into a series of links and a series of web pages and using them as almost a voting system to figure out which pages they should return in the search engine results. So basically the idea is use links as votes and figure out what we should return. This was a revolutionary concept at the time and now pretty much every search engine is built on this concept of links. Um, maybe Google doesn't use PageRank as importantly anymore, but it doesn't matter. We wanna make sure you understand kind of the foundation of this um, and we're gonna give you some key takeaways to always remember and keep in the back of your mind as you link and write content. All right, so how is PageRank calculated? So this is a super complex computer algorithm and I am going to give you an oversimplified, completely inaccurate version. All right, disclaimer over, let's go ahead and give kind of a simple example. Uh, let's pretend like there's only five web pages on the entire internet. Um, so it's important to note real quick that again, PageRank looks at web pages and not websites. That's actually where the name PageRank comes from. That and the fact it's named after Larry Page, fun fact. Um, not Bryn Pank, Bryn. Bryn Rank. You can already see why that would have been the terrible name. That's why they went with PageRank, but also more importantly, because it is based off of web pages. Why do I keep stressing that? Um, because a lot of people like to think your website as a whole, and that is super important, right? There's a lot of factors about your website as a whole that are unique to your website. But when PageRank is looking, it doesn't care who owns the page. It's just every page is the same. So in this example, the only five pages on the internet, they might all belong to one site, or they might be five different sites or two sites. Who cares? All right, so now the way that PageRank works is that it looks at the entire web and gives each page a starting rank. Let's say there's five pages again on the internet, it's just gonna give each one 0.2 or one divided by five. They all start off equal in Google's eyes. Now, it's gonna go and crawl each of those pages. We're gonna see what they link to, and we're gonna pass on the page rank from that page to what it links to. So in the first era, or the first iteration, every page only has 0.2. So now let's say one of these pages links to two other pages. You're actually now going to divide out its 0.2 score in the two equal votes of 0.1 that each of the pages are linking to. If they link to 10 pages, well, there's not 10 pages in this example, but five, you would have divided that 0.2 by five and then given out those points equally. You can start to see where this is gonna get complex. Now, one of the issues is we, we did one round of this, let's say, and we're gonna show up a great slide here that will give an example of these 0.2s linking around the web um, and then you're gonna basically have to go iteratively and keep going through because in the first round, everyone had 0.2. Second round, everyone now has new page ranks, so you recalculate it with their new votes. Again, oversimplifying this, and there's also something called a damping factor. Otherwise, you would end up with what uh, computer people call a recursive loop. Uh, it would run forever. So the damping factor basically just makes sure eventually these votes stop counting and they go down to zero and we can stop. It would be exhausting to do this forever and Google would never be able to exist. Um, so that's basically the idea behind PageRank. Every link is gonna be a vote, super complex, even in my oversimplified example. Now imagine there was trillions of web pages and you used the full algorithm and not Eric's stupid version. Uh, it would have been a lot harder, right? But this was complex, so what, what are the main takeaways here? Um, because that's really what's important. So again, remember, people might say PageRank doesn't matter in 2020 um, because they no longer, let's say, display it in the Google toolbar. I don't know if any of you guys remember that. That was a thing. There was a Google toolbar uh, in, this, in Google Chrome. And basically, it would show you the page rank of every page you browsed. Um, it was a score from 0 to 10. 0 meant you had no links. 10 meant you were probably Google itself because you had all the links in the internet. Uh, that was very tough to get. It was a logarithmic scale that kind of made it pretty, so it looked from 0 to 10. In our example, our numbers were like 0.2 and 0.17. Those aren't fun to look at if you're a user. Uh, but one to 10 was something people could more easily relate to. So PageRank no longer is displayed in that toolbar. That doesn't mean it's dead from the search engine. 
And in a lot of ways, a lot of the fundamentals behind it power so many of the other algorithms that Google uses. So let's go with, again, some of the takeaways um, that you should remember as, again, you go to link around your site. First is that links are a vote. Uh, so basically, anytime you're linking to something, you are voting for it. You are endorsing it. That's super important to remember. That's not just when you're linking to someone else. Remember, that's when you link to yourself as well. Um, so you can vote for yourself because all pages are separate. So that's the key number two takeaway, that you can vote for yourself. I can't stress that enough. Um, again, that goes back to the idea there's pages, not just sites. So linking to yourself will actually help you pass PageRank to your own pages. Um, so that's a unique aspect of PageRank that you're not going to see uh, with a lot of other uh, cool algorithms, right, where you don't have full control over things. In this case, you do. Uh, another important thing is that links are basically divided out. So it's super important that you consider who and what you're linking to. So remember, if I vote for 10 things on one page, my votes are divided in 10. So I don't get to cast the same vote as if I only voted for five things or two things. If I start voting for 100 things, my links are worth less and less that I pass on to everyone. So be very uh, protective of your links. While you certainly should link to a lot of things, remember, the more things you link to, uh, the more you're diluting that page rank out. So make sure everything you're linking to is super important for you. Um, and another key takeaway is as cool as it is that you can link to yourself, your links only matter if someone voted for you. Uh, remember, everyone starts off the same number of page rank, but if you're sitting in your own little island only voting for yourself, uh, as that algorithm keeps running loop after loop after loop, you're going to go down to nothing. You would have had zero in that page rank score. Uh, it's really important that you have incoming links so that you can link to yourself and to others. Your votes mean nothing if nobody voted for you. So it's super important in this page rank idea that you get votes, that you vote for yourself, vote for others, be a good community member. Uh, there's so many aspects of page rank that still matter today. So don't worry if another SEO tells you page rank is dead, uh, it doesn't matter. Links are not dead. If you look in the webmaster guidelines, you will see that Google mentions the word link or in the SEO starter guide over 80 times, more than anything else they talk about. Links are very much alive and healthy. Uh, so therefore, in some ways, so is page rank. All right. Thank you, guys. We're going to be talking a lot more about links in upcoming uh, episodes of SEO Like a CEO. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys soon.